Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Today we're gonna to be doing an off the mat Hello Kitty. Um, I'm not sure how big we're gonna make her, so that's gonna be a process that we'll go through here. I wanna make sure that her face is gonna be seamless because it's white. Um, even using white glitter cardstock, you're gonna see a seam and it's gonna be so distracting. So we're gonna to try to find a way to make it as big as possible. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> All right, so first thing is I bought this file on Etsy, so I've already downloaded it, but I have not extracted the file. So here are my downloads. Here's my Hello Kitty one. So you wanna double click the zip file. So it's always, almost always gonna come over zipped because there's so many different formats that you may have bought. So mine came with um, a JPEG, I think, oh, a PNG file, and then the one I want is this one. So it says Microsoft Edge HTML document. That's the SVG file. So I wanna put this into my desktop because I'm extracting it from my zip file, okay? Um, and then what I'm gonna do is let's go to upload the file. So we're in design space. So there's a couple things I wanna point out. Um, right now I had recently downloaded or, um, it had, whatchamacallit, um, updated the, the version and it's killer, like bad killer, not good killer. So what you want to do is you want to click on these three bars right here next to the canvas and you want to make sure that your settings is for classic and not new under canvas style. I have not been able to do an off the map project under the new um, under the new canvas style. It won't let me um, zoom in and out and the pieces get all crazy. So let's go to upload, upload image, browse, and find our Hello Kitty. So over here, it's gonna be under the H. So let me see, where is my little Hello Kitty? Um, Oh, there it is. All right, so just double click on it and it's gonna come over here. Um, if you wanna add tags, it will just help you find it because when you um, upload an image into Design Space, what happens is it becomes part of the image library over here. So if I search for Hello Kitty, it will come up. But if you had like Hello Kitty with Big Bow or I don't know, whatever, um, I don't do it, so <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Um, Hello Kitty is good for me. I'm going to click save. What you don't want is if the image name just said like pick number one, then you're never going to find it again. So you definitely don't want that. All right. So let's click on this and insert image. And let's see what we have. So I bought this file. Gosh, it must have been over a week ago. And I can already see we have a weird... Um, not really, oh, I see it's not really like a good clean cut, right? Like you can see it right here and this pink is poking through and then I don't know what this blank canvas is. Why is it showing? Okay, so there's a big circle or uh, circle, square behind it. So I'm just gonna delete it. All right, so here's my Hello Kitty. I'm really bummed. This does not look good. Um, it'll still be okay, but I'm not happy with this file. All right, so what we wanna do is, um, this is all grouped together. I know that because when I click on this image, I have the option to ungroup it. So right now, if I resize it, everything gets resized together. So let's just, see what we have here. If I typed in 30 inches, which I think is gonna be way big. I don't think we can do 30 inches, um, but here's why I picked this image. <clears throat> because we could do a lot with the bows. The bows, um, even though the bow is really big, the bow is in many pieces, right? It's got this one big piece, but then it's broken up into multiple pieces. So we can kind of, uh, make this kind of wide um, and then Hello Kitty what I like about Hello Kitty is she has the two paws and then she also has the ear right here that's broken up by the bow so really what I'm concerned about is this face right here in the middle 
um, and that can only be 11 and a half inches. So um, let's see. So she's 30 inches. Let's see how big her face is. Now, what is this piece? So this piece, okay, so this is the piece that we want. So let's ungroup everything so that we can actually get the dimensions of this. So here's her face, no, that's her paw. Let's see, where is her face? Okay, so her face is 11 inches by 15. It is definitely a little bit too big, right? So our options are to either use 12 by 24 cardstock, because this will fit in, I mean, the the width, or in this case, it's the height, right? It's um, it's 11.04 inches, so technically, it would we could do that. Um, the other option is to make this a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because I'm going to assume that you guys do not have 12 by 24 cardstock. I actually do, but I don't always use it. So <laughs> I use it for really special occasions because it's um, it's expensive and it's I don't have a lot of space to store it. So I totally get it if you guys don't have it. So let's grab everything and let's cut it down a little bit. Let's see if going 26 inches will help this cause of ours. So, all right, we reduced it to 26. Let's scroll down and go to the face. So here's the face, and the face is now 9.5 by 13. So this is promising. So I'm gonna move out the face, okay? And the way that Design Space measures um, distance, or in this case, the width, the width is 13 inches, right? So it's taking the most far left and the most far right and finding the difference. So if I were to rotate this like this, do you see how like we didn't do anything to this image except for rotating it? And now it the width is actually, it dropped down to 12.7 and this increased to 10.7. So I don't think that we can actually make this work, but I'm gonna try to rotate it a little bit more. Yeah, this isn't gonna work for us. Um, because see, at 11 and a half inches, this is still 12.6. So it's still too big and we're going to have to slice it somewhere. And I don't want to slice her face because her face is just, um, it's the centerpiece, right? There's only so much to Hello Kitty. So we definitely don't want to do that. So let me rotate it this back. And let's make this a little bit smaller. So let's grab this whole thing and let's see at 24 inches what we have. So at 24 inches, okay, so this we can do. It's 12 by 8.8. .8. And remember, we can rotate it a little bit. As long as one side is 11.5, the other side we could, I mean, technically you're supposed to do 11.5 by 11.5, but if you did 11.5 by 11.99, you could get that to cut on your on your 12 by 12 cardstock, right? Because you just wanna make sure that the paper's all the way down lined up to the 12 or a little bit under and it will cut because it will think that you have a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock. So it will go past the 11.5. So, all right. So I feel like, let's see if we can make this 25 inches and see if uh, we can make this face still work. So here's the face. It's 12.5 by 9.1, so let's just rotate it. Um, yeah, I don't think I can get this to work. So, 24 inches it is. Now, if you're dead set on doing something that is 30 inches, what I would recommend is maybe adding a number down here or adding balloons and then, um, you know what, I will add balloons so I can show you what that looks like. So first let's grab all of this and make it 24 inches, right? Because we know that the face is gonna be good. Now let's make sure that all our pink pieces are good. Yeah, six inches, eight by 11. So that's a pretty big, portion of the bow, right? I'm not worried about the black pieces because the black pieces, we're gonna use black glitter cardstock because it's Hello Kitty. And so that's gonna mask all the seams that are gonna come through here. Everything else is gonna be seamless, right? Our biggest piece is this, 
and the face, and it's gonna be cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Now let me show you about the balloons, okay? So let's move her down just a little bit. Now you, when you, we're looking for the images for the balloons, so let's go into images and type in balloons. What you want to find is one that has an outline already because I can't take an image from Design Space and go into Inkscape to create the offset or the shadow or the outline, right? So I need Design Space to give me an image like this one. This one's kind of ugly, I don't like it. But you see how it has the black? Because then we can make that part of the black background like Hello Kitty, okay? So I don't love that one, but let's, <laughs> let's find another one that's cuter. Um, I've been doing a lot of balloons lately, so I know there are some cute balloon images back here. Um, look, there's even a Hello Kitty one. Um, you know what, that's kind of a cute idea. So let's insert that one, even though I have to pay for it. <laughs> um, okay, so let's say you're doing this for a three-year-old, right? So then you'll want three balloons. Okay, so I just wanna make sure that you can see this. So here is balloon number one. And balloon number one, I mean, we need to make sure that the balloon is also gonna be seamless, right? So we wanna make this 11 inches, or this is gonna be fine because um, this whole thing is 11.6, but technically this piece right here is gonna be less than 11.6. So let's say we like this one here. We're gonna duplicate the balloon. Let's say she's two, because I don't wanna to go too crazy, okay? So let's have this balloon here, this balloon up here going like this, and we'll have this balloon behind. So let's arrange, send to the back. All right, so if we were to do this, and then of course we would put this balloon in the back as well. Arrange, send to the back, send this one to the back. Oops, what am I doing? Send to the back. Okay, and so you see how the balloons are kind of hanging behind her, and you know, you we can work on this, but let's check out our new image, right? Our new image is now 40 inches from top to bottom and 20, 28 inches across, okay? And this is how we're gonna do it. So let's look at what we have. Um, so right here, you see how we have a full black background? All we need to do is we're gonna grab this, okay? And then hit your shift key and grab this blue background. Uh, why isn't it letting me grab the blue background? Okay, there. And then grab this blue background and uh, what just happened? This one undid itself. Okay, so you see right now what I have picked up on my cursor is the black background, the Hello Kitty black background, the blue background of the balloon, number one, and balloon number two, and I'm gonna weld it. So, I'm gonna move this for a second. This will give us the background that every other color is gonna sit on top, okay? But I don't like that it's empty here, right? So let's go to contour. And you're gonna click on hide all, and now we have our solid, in this case blue, but solid black background, okay? This obviously we're gonna to need to slice up, but all our colors are gonna go on top. All of our colors should be seamless. This is the only thing that we're gonna to have to slice up and have seams in it. But all of our pretty colors and glitter colors are gonna sit on top. You're not gonna notice the seams, for one, because the other stuff is so cute. But two, we're gonna use black glitter cardstock, so you're barely gonna be able to see the seams. And then with the colors sitting on top, each seam is gonna be just like this much. So when you add up all the seams together, I mean, you might have like maybe, I mean, this is such a big, it's 40 inches. Um, that is way taller than a toddler. So just to kind of keep in mind. 
Um, maybe if we add up all the seams that you can actually see, if you're really, really looking, it would total maybe two inches. So this is going to look flawless, but that's how you do it. Is That's how you add the height. We couldn't do it by just making this Hello Kitty big because then her face, which everyone's gonna be focused on, is gonna have seams and it'd be really, really distracting. All right, so let's focus now, ignore this. We're gonna get back to this later when we have to slice this up. Let's look at all our pieces, okay? So this is unfortunate. The way they did the balloon, it's one big piece. So let's bring in that balloon again. What we wanna do is we want that balloon to actually be sliced up into pieces. So where's my Hello Kitty? Here it is. So let's insert that. And I'm gonna recreate this size, okay? So I'm gonna bring this one, arrange center to the front so I can see it. So actually, is that about right? Almost, oh my gosh. So this is my balloon. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because I think the pink is actually a little bit smaller. Oh no, it's actually bigger. What am I talking about? Okay, hold on. I should have looked at this image beforehand to see if the pink was in actual pieces, but in this case it was not. So, all right, let's see if this is good. Okay, so I'm gonna say that this is a good fit even though it's not. Oh, it's tilted a little bit. Okay, what's going on here? Why is my pink like not matching up with this balloon? Oh, because the blue, okay, don't worry about this. So this is gonna be fine. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this piece right here, let's move it over here. And you see how the pink, I should have looked at this and I would have seen it. The pink and the white are in separate pieces. I mean, what a waste of white cardstock, right? For just these little pieces. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the pink and the white and we're gonna slice it. So what that does is it's going to give us the white in the pieces that we want. So this is gonna be multiple pieces, okay? This white we can get rid of. Now we're left with, um, yeah, I was gonna say, we should be only left with the blue and the pink. So I'm gonna put this back, and now we're going to grab these two colors and slice, and that will give us, so we don't need this, we need this in pieces. So you can see now, so this one I can get rid of. because it wasn't a clean cut, we have those extra lines. We don't need those extra lines. Okay, so the balloon is technically one big piece here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. Um, what I'm tempted to do, that's okay. So what we'll do is we'll go to contour and I'll just show you how to break up these pieces. We're gonna hide all, and that leaves us this big pink piece, right? And see our pink piece is 11 by nine. So we can cut that on one piece of cardstock and it's gonna look flawless. And it's gonna go up here. And it's gonna look really, really good because it's gonna be really pretty pink. And like I said, without any seams, and then we'll add in the little white pieces I'm gonna arrange them to the front. And so you can see the white pieces will go on top and it will really make it look good. All right, so we have our white pieces, we have our pink piece. What you need to do with the pink piece though, because it doesn't come with the bow, you need to duplicate it, because that's just the balloon face, right? But we need the rest of this. Go to contour. And this time, let's just show all 
And this time we want to hide the face and we don't want any of these white pieces and we don't want these lines. And we don't want this little button either. So here's our bow pieces, right? And it's gonna go like this. We do need this little piece right here. So we're gonna duplicate that again. And this time, oops, I'm missing one piece right here, this piece. Let's go to contour. And let's select right next to the ear, there's a line. We don't want that line, okay. So I'm removing it. So there's our piece. And then on here, what we want to do is we want to go to contour and show all and then hide all and I want this little guy and I don't want the face oops so here you have your balloon broken up because originally this balloon was showing way too big to cut on our Cricut right okay so I'm gonna delete this you have two balloons so you're going to need to duplicate the balloons, right? All right, so there's our balloon. Let's look at our Hello Kitty. So our Hello Kitty is broken up into the pieces already, so that's great. So we can delete. I don't like these little lines. I don't think it's worth it, so I'm removing them. And look at that. She's already in pieces, so you don't need to do anything with her. You just need to cut it. Um, so we don't need this balloon. And the only thing that I would do is with the whites, I would, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this. And actually I'm gonna make it a different color just for now. I'm gonna make it purple. Okay, so you see how it's, technically you can cut this on the Cricut and we have two sets of these, right? So you could like turn this around maybe and fit it like this to be cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Does that fit? No, we need to make it a little, but it's a lot of wasted space, right? So what I would do is I would delete this. Let's slice this out so that each piece is its own separate piece. So let's go to shapes. And I'm gonna slice this out so that it's not all one image right so i am slicing out this little piece over here so i'm going to slice when you slice you can only slice two things at one time so it's my square and the purple and because my square was only covering this little piece right here and i sliced it now i removed this piece from this big cluster so now this is by itself which is what i want all right so let's go and do Let's make it simple and just keep these together, okay? But we're gonna separate these two. So I'm gonna slice that. And you can remove your slice results. So now, instead of it being 11 inches by whatever, 11 by 11 almost, right? I can move this closer. So when I go to cut this, my purple is more, um, efficient and closer together and remember i have two balloons so i'm just going to grab this and duplicate it and later when we go cut we'll go to the make it screen you'll see that it's so much better this way all right so everything is done here i'm going to move this we have our big gigantic piece that we need to slice up right so when we're slicing i'm assuming that you're going to have 12 by 12 cardstock and again, in this case, I would use black glitter cardstock because the black is thick. Normally, if you look at all my characters back there, I typically will use regular black 65 pound cardstock because the seams are so minimal, the colors really cover it. But if you remember how this image was, our black was kind of thick. Like it's not our typical black outline. This one has a thick black outline and there was a lot of black through the bows. So I feel like if we used regular black cardstock, you would see the seams. While it's not as distracting as like a light colored seam, um, if you're gonna do this for a birthday party for your daughter, let's say, um, I mean, you're only doing it one time, I would use the black glitter cardstock. 
All right. And if you get it when it's on sale, which if you follow me, I always tell you when it's 50% off. So for a 10 pack, it would be $5. Then it's just what, 50 cents a sheet. I mean, it's okay, right? All right, so let's slice this up. Let's bring in a square and go to size and change it to 11 inches. Technically, you can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I don't like dealing with half inches. And let's look at this. This is 28 inches across. No matter if I used 11 and a half or 11 inches, I'm gonna need three columns because three would be 33 inches um, because two is only 22 inches or 23 inches if you're using 11 and a half. It's not big enough, right? So no matter what, you need three three columns. So for me, I'm going to use 11 inches. All right, so put it anywhere in this right around in the frame, okay? We're going to go to the position feature and we're going to round to the nearest whole number. So 12.16 becomes 12. 1.83 is going to be 2. What we're basically telling design space is your X coordinate is the one running across here. Your Y coordinate is running up and down. So X is 12. We're saying go over 12 units, go down two units, and here's the start of our square. We're going to duplicate this square because it's already 11 inches. Put it really, really close to this one and then round to the nearest whole number. So 23.16 becomes 23. 2.11 becomes 2. And then we're going to duplicate that one and put this one over here. And again, 34.1 becomes 34, 2.1 becomes 2. So now we have three squares that are completely flushed with each other. You want that because when you slice this up, you don't want any gaps and you don't want any pieces to overlap. You want them to really just like butt up against each other. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when you do it this way, you're going to have a grid of nine or 12 squares. I can't remember my numbers anymore. We're going to have a grid of 12 squares. It's going to go three and then four rows. Okay. So now that we've already done our three, what you want to do is hit the shift key, grab your, this square and this square. We want all three of them and we're going to duplicate. We're going to move all three of them together. They're already flushed with each other. We're going to make it flushed with the top set. So if you put it really close, then you can just round. 11.8 becomes 12. 13.3 becomes 3. Okay, now we have six squares, right? Hit your shift key. These three are already selected. Grab the next three and duplicate. Now we have a set of six. And then we're just going to move it so that we can get it flushed with the top set. Okay, so really close. 11.9 becomes 12 and 24.1 becomes 24. We have our grid of 12 squares, but that was fast, right? I'm going to show you the math behind it. So this first one, it's at 12, right? Our cardstock is 11 inches. So 12 plus 11 is 23. When I click on this one, 23. 23 plus 11 is 34. There's 34. Same thing going down, right? So we're starting at two. Two plus 11 is 13. And there's 13. 13 plus 11 is 24. <laughs> All right, I'm doing this on an empty stomach. It's almost dinner time, so that's why. All right, so now what we wanna do is we have our grid. Go over to your right-hand side panel. Scroll all the way till you get our background piece. Okay, and arrange, send to the front. We wanna make sure that where we're slicing, and I'm gonna zoom in so that we can see. What we don't want is something like this. And the reason is it's gonna slice off a sliver of the ear, and it will be its own piece hanging out by itself. This one would slice off this little cheek, and then this little cheek down here. We don't want those little pieces. We want big pieces that we can easily keep track of. It will cut fine, and then you can tape it back up together, okay? So let's look at this piece. Um, we have a lot of room. So like, this is okay, right? This is a big chunk. This is a big chunk. So maybe, we definitely don't want this. So we want that piece to be something like this. And maybe, 
oops, that's too far down. Let's move this up there. Okay, so we've got that piece. The whiskers are attached to this gigantic piece right here. We want that. This, okay, this is good except for this. So let's scoot this over. All right. Um, I wonder if we could scoot this down just a little bit because I don't want that to be its own piece. Oh, but right there. And sometimes there's nothing that we can do about it, okay? Okay, so this is this works. This works. Um, okay, so this is going to be its own little piece right here, which I'm not happy about. But um, do you know what? I would rather have that like that. This little piece, I'm just going to ignore it. The whisker is going to be like this much shorter than it's intended to be. I can live with that. So let's see. This is going to cut. All right. I think we have our cut pieces. Okay. I'm going to zoom back out. So remember that little sliver of the whiskers. I'm gonna ignore, I'm just gonna leave it as is, okay? All right, so let's, look, we don't even need this square. Oops, we don't need this square, so I'm just gonna delete it. We don't need this one either, okay? All right, so let's start slicing one square at a time, okay? So I'm gonna grab this one square and the image at a time. I'm gonna slice and I'm gonna go all the way just around, okay? Second square. And I'm still going third. Bottom. Now, as we're slicing, because this is going to be a lot of pieces of blue to piece back together. And a lot of it's going to look the same, right? Because the balloon is the same shape as her head. So what I like to do is I like to move it over and keep it in, in its place so that when I see this piece like this, I know where it goes. And these little pieces right here, let's go to contour real quick. I'm just going to delete it forever from my mind, okay? So I'm selecting these two. They are no longer going to exist. All right, there's my piece. Is this piece sliced? Yeah, so this piece is sliced. So, so far it's like this, right? Your sliced results, all these pieces, we can delete. Okay, so let's continue slicing. So now we're gonna slice this piece. this square and I'm just making my way around this piece right grab here slice this one slice and one more slice and we're done and actually let me scroll down so you can see it better okay All right, so I think we have all our pieces. I'm gonna move them over. So this goes here. And so you can imagine when these are cut pieces, you're gonna butt it up right next to each other and tape it together. So we're just putting back together this puzzle. And so it's, I see a lot of people um, do instructional videos on how to do off the mat and they don't put it on a grid. And I feel like the pieces, I mean, this is, this is like a systematic way of doing it to make sure that you don't lose any pieces and you're slicing because what you want is this four corners that butt up to each other so that when we tape it there's you're going to notice the seams less because they're, it's going to be flushed right and you're going to have that because we did the puzzle pieces and i know it's it's a little bit extra work but i feel like it's worth it all right last piece this one goes up here and we are done. So let's grab this, delete it. Okay, so now let's go to the make it screen so you can see what it looks like. 
and we'll try to be as efficient as possible. Don't worry about this, click OK. This is the head, it's telling you it's, it was too long, right? But remember, we can, um, we can move this image a little bit and a little bit more. Um, well, we're really close, so let's move this a little bit more. Okay, so you see how we, I'm gonna move these, her little paws up here too. So if you don't have, okay, let's rearrange this so that it all fits, okay? So you can twist these around in case you didn't know. All right, so you see how we're really close to the edge? But Design Space and Cricut in general, you see how it doesn't cut all the way to the top? So this is what I would do. If you don't have a 12 by 12, or if you don't have a 12 by 24 mat, it's okay. Use your 12 by 12 mat, put your white cardstock all the way to the edge of this 12 paper, okay? So it's gonna cut all the way to here and you're gonna be fine. So this is gonna be one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Don't worry about the fact that it has it on a 12 by 24 mat. All right, let's go on. This is uh, the eyes. Here's the, this is, I'm gonna use black glitter cardstock, so this should be black. So these eyes, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna click on the three dots, move object, and I'm gonna move it onto the other sheet because it's also cutting black. So I don't wanna waste my sheets if I don't have to, so here it is. Let's go to this one, click on the three dots, move object, or I could have just changed the color from the previous page, but I forgot. So that's why I, I also wanna, I'm just gonna pretend this is, uh, I wanted to do this because I wanna show you how to move things to a different mat. So let's click on the three dots, move object, and move it over here. All right, so we're good here. All right, when you're moving it to another sheet, just make sure that you, you check this out so it doesn't cut over itself because if it does, then you have to recut it and you did not save cardstock. <laughs> All right, this piece is huge. This piece is not as huge, but let's see if we can consolidate anywhere else. All right, so I feel like we can move some pieces. Let's move this one, move object. Let's move it to this piece. So I'm gonna move this over, move this. I wonder if I can do something like this and scoot this down because I wanna see if I can get this piece in. I don't know. Let's click on the three dots, move object. Um, you know what? I think that piece would fit here. Let's click on that and see if these two pieces will work together. Yes. So we saved one, we saved at least two sheets of cardstock, right? Okay. All right. Here's our, the white pieces. Remember we didn't we didn't slice out these pieces to make them individual pieces, but we have a lot going on here that we can kind of, let me see if I can fit this in. So you could do that, right? And then let's see if we can get this guy in here somewhere. I don't know if I can do it again, or actually what we could do is this. Let's see if we can fit him in a little bit closer. I think that's going to be our best bet. And then this guy can move over. So remember the way if we hadn't sliced out everything and we could have, if we sliced out individual pieces, we could move these into these empty spaces and it would, it would fit and it would be more efficient. But I wanted to show you just a little bit. Um, but originally this was going to take two sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock because it was attached and spread out, right? All right, let's look at our pink. So here's our pink. This was the 
the bow. What I would do here is, yeah, we can definitely consolidate the pink and, oh, she's two pinks. I would make it all one pink. And what I would do is, um, I guess go to this one and click on here, move object. Let's move it over here. So we can really consolidate these pieces. I would move this balloon piece all the way down here. This bow goes over here. In fact, it fits in perfectly, right? And there's still some space up here. So if we have smaller pieces, we could probably move over some more. So you kind of get a feel for how to do this. And then that's it. You piece it together and it's gonna look amazing. This one will look really good. And she's huge, 40 inches. Um, all right, I will see you next time. Let me know in the feedback whether you thought I needed to show you something else or where did you get lost so that I can help you with the next video. I'll pay attention to it. Um, if you have a special request, post it here as well. Um, I do lots of special requests. And so if you give me the details, I will reach out to you. Or if you have a file that you want me to actually do, you can send it to me at ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right. Bye, guys.